So we've got here today for breakfast, we're going to have some Nutri-Grain. And then for morning tea, we're going to have a bottle of fruit yogurt and a fruitsy. So that must be pretty good for us. Some bread, two pieces of bread with some baked beans for lunch. Uh, then for afternoon tea, we're going to have one of these chunky choc chip cookies that I got out of your vending machine over in the city council building. <laughs> and for dinner tonight, we're having uh, some chicken and some vegetables with uh, chicken tonight. Um, what is this? Sweet and sour sauce. So, remembering that for most of us, uh, six teaspoons of sugar is all we're allowed a day. Um, if you have a look at your Nutrigain box, so this says that a serving of Nutrigain is 40 grams. And in 40 grams of Nutrigain, there are 12.8 grams of added sugar. So uh, a teaspoon of sugar is about four grams. So in 40 grams of Nutrigain, there's three and a half teaspoons of sugar just there. But look at this, can you see that? That's 40 grams of Nutrigain that I weighed this morning at home. Who eats that much for breakfast? Most people eat three times that amount, don't they? So that's another way that they trick us uh, on the food labels is by making the serving size smaller so it looks like they have less bad things in them. Um, for morning tea, your fruit yogurt and your uh, fruitsy bar. Um, now, these have um, probably got some real fruit in them somewhere, uh, which has contributed to the, um, to the sugar uh, on the labels. So 16.9 grams of sugar in this, um, uh, in this pot of yogurt here. Um, but when they list the ingredients on the packet, the ones that they list first are the main ingredients. So if sugar's near the top of the list, you know it's got a lot of sugar in it. And sugar is uh, the second ingredient on this uh, and in these fruit bars um, these have 16 percent fruit which is apple puree concentrate and strawberry puree and black currant juice concentrate but then uh, so that's the second ingredient and the next three ingredients are invert sugar I don't even know what that is uh, brown sugar and sugar <laughs> um, so your morning tea there has got six teaspoons of sugar in it for lunch, um, you can have two of these slices of bread and half a can, I think it's half a can, so there's two servings in this can of baked beans, okay? If you have half a can of baked beans and two of these slices of bread, you'll get another three and a half teaspoons of sugar. Afternoon tea. In that cookie, <laughs> There are eight and three quarter teaspoons of sugar. 34.9 grams of sugar in that cookie. And for dinner, chicken tonight, sweet and sour sauce. In this sweet and sour sauce, every serving, so there's four servings in this jar, and every serving has 30 grams of sugar in it. Okay? Seven and a half teaspoons. So, if we look at the amount of sugar that you've just consumed in your day, you consume 29.5 teaspoons of sugar in that day there. So that's 29.5 teaspoons of sugar in that jar, which isn't that great when you consider that we're only supposed to be having six. However, there's a few things that we can do uh, to dramatically reduce it. Get rid of your Nutri-Grain. If you want to have cereal, have some wheat fix and maybe a banana. For morning tea, how about a carrot and some hummus? For lunch, you can uh, have a couple of slices of bread, although you might be able to find a better one than that, um, with a bit more fibre. Um, and, you know, what about uh, an egg? on toast or don't worry I did think to boil it <laughs> that's happened to me before and it wasn't so good um, maybe I'll set it up there um, and you know, or maybe at this time of the year um, some avocado and tomato on toast um, 
cookie. Get rid of that. We'll have an apple for afternoon tea instead. And at dinner, ditch the stir fry sauce. You can have chicken and salad. You can have a chicken with your um, chicken and vegetables stir fried with some herbs and spices. You can even roast your chicken and have some vegetables with it. Um, just don't use that sauce. Um, so you can see here, we've just about got rid of that uh, entire sugar intake. Wheat Bix, I think, has 0.8 of a gram of sugar per serving. Um, so hardly any in that. And now all of a sudden we're in, we're, we've come in under that uh, WHO guideline. Um, and you might be interested to know, so that uh, 20, what did I say, 29 point and a quarter grams, uh, sorry, teaspoons of sugar in a day, here's a week's worth of that sugar, okay? 204 and three quarter teaspoons. So that's the amount of sugar that you're going to be consuming in a week with all that packet food. Mm -hmm.